Hey there smartphone fans, welcome back from an honest hands on review and today I have the phone you will absolutely forget what it's like to charge from the battery because the battery lasts forever, that's right. Here is my 11,000 mAh Ukito K10 in-depth hands on review. If you're looking for that ultimate power bank phone that's also fast and is also stylish, keep watching because the Ukito K10 might very well be your next phone. All the Ukito K10, all the modern stuff, NFC 18.96 inch display, full HD plus resolution, gorgeous, gorgeous letter back. This is an incredibly looking phone, one of the more stylish and unique devices on the market today, where most brands just lazily copy Samsung anyway or Sony or whatever. Ukito actually have done their own original design and is very, very much to my liking. And I do suggest to watch my unboxing video for all the details like specs, unboxing, what's inside the box, because plenty of goodies offered in that as well. But onto the Ukito K10 experience. This is not a very big and heavy phone, guys. It's operable with one hand, it fits it on my pocket. Yes, it's around 260 grams, but it's certainly lighter than the K10,000 Pro and the original K10,000 as well. And the display has upgraded massively, not only a full HD plus resolution, but it's the same display as the Okito K6, which is incredible. Great sunlight visibility, great contrast, uh, very low consumption use. This is uh, by far one of the best LCD displays I've ever seen in a sub $300 phone here. Make no mistake about it, you will absolutely love watching videos over and over and over again. On the huge battery of the Okito K10,000 and as I said one hand usage absolutely no problem and I'm not a man which has like really huge hands my hands are actually very small and I was able to fully operate the Okito K10 without any issues and here you can see the monster brightness the display is actually able to put out. and even in the minimum brightness it's still okay for most days so yeah direct sunlight no problem you can see anything operate with the display no issues and it's really in handy when you're driving with the GPS and you have the sun straightly against you, that you'll be able to see everything in the map. And the Ukito K10 is an excellent GPS navigator. You're looking at perhaps over 25 hours of continuous GPS navigation available on a single charge, or like uh, seven days of heavy usage, 30 to 35 hours of browsing, maybe 35, 40 hours of videos, and over 10 hours of non-stop heavy 3D gaming on a single charge. A guy like me with moderate usage, I got around 10 days of moderate usage using the Ukito K10. So K10, 10 days, are uh, like three times the battery life of the Redmi 5 Plus and the Redmi Note 4X. And the huge battery is charged in just three hours from 0 to 100% using the ultra fast 25 volt charger. This is the N227 score, which is again slightly higher than the Snapdragon 625 in the Redmi 5 Plus. And uh, Hero P23 is a very cool chip. Do not worry about overheating with this phone. It never gets hot. It stays around 27, 28 degrees all the time. Definitely great. And Ukito have put in the fastest uh, storage available for budget phone. If you see here, just around 30% faster again than Xiaomi's Redmi 5 Plus. So as far as specs goes, display, style, and you now see performance. The Ukito K10 really, really is a very good phone. Even with that huge full HD plus resolution, it's still being able to play the heaviest games in the Android Play Store market, like Shadow Fight 3 and the online shooter World War Heroes, with very decent frame rates at high graphics settings. So, this is a very, very good gaming phone for those of you who want that power bank gaming phone to game for hours and hours and hours on a single charge. And so it there's no mention saying 2D games like my 3D games absolutely fly on the Ukito K10. And what else flies is daily driver performance. Put this baby in sports mode from the battery settings and every app will almost open instantaneously. Very, very fast daily driver usage here. Switching to all your social medias, very heavy apps, not a problem. Browsing, not a problem. The Helio P23 allows all the eight cores to work together all the time just like the Snapdragon 625 and that's how they achieve much better performance um, but keeping the chip cool is because it's a new revision of that Helio P25 and they've actually added the new Mali G7 to one of the, late, one of the latest actually ARM um, Mali graphics course so you get better 3D performance uh, 
better thermals, better faster overall performance than the Hilo P25 and probably the Snapdragon 625 as well in the long run here. So, Ukitu K10, excellent daily driver and that 6 gigs of RAM thanks to the Android 711 Nougat and great software optimization done by Ukitu. This is a very light ROM, they're using like basically stock Android with just an icon pack. Uh, you can have 20 25 open apps in the background and doesn't reload any of them, switches between them instantaneously. As you see here, fast split screen multitasking, perfect daily driver experience for a $200 $250 phone. But it's not just the phone is just not great, of course, there's something wrong with it, uh, and it's the camera on paper 21 megapixel Samsung sensor should be good, right? Um, oh, the camera is not like horrible for instance, but it's uh, very inconsistent in its performance. It doesn't like uh, when there's direct sunlight ahead of it. I think that's because Ukito use cheaper lenses. If you have the sunlight on your back and you're in a sunny day, the camera will capture very, very good photos. And the shooter speed and focusing speed on this camera is blazing fast. And it does also have face detection, also focus enabled. Uh, but moving in an area where you have sunlight directly in front of you, it just overexposes the images and the colors turn out very very bland as you can see here so the camera is very picky in situations where it is actually good and the overall camera experience for me is uh, below the asking price uh, maybe up to par with the 150 60 dollar phones on the market uh, like the redmi 4x or something but it's definitely not a 200 dollar plus camera experience said faster the speeds uh, in general very fast focusing and just don't ever think that you can get a great low light shot with this camera at all the front camera is actually the a bit better than but the two of them because it's a more reliable sensor it's not like great but at least it's consistent in its performance and it's actually not that bad in really low, low light situation since you do also have a front facing flashlight on the uh, Okito K10 like so you have NFC you have all these great features and you also have a front facing front facing flash sorry very very good and uh, the video quality was excellent for me at this price and the sound quality was one of the best I've ever heard just take a look at it excellent noise cancellation very good audio quality, but there is a slight sync delay with the front camera audio the, quality. dollars when it comes to camera experience, the Ukito K10. However, it more than excels. Ukito arguing up to this patch to address this audio quality issue. And the facial ID on this phone only works in good light conditions, and you hold it straight to your face, so actually don't use that at all. And the rear fingerprint scan is actually very, very reliable, so stick to that. So, Ukito K10. You will absolutely trust me on this. You will never go back to using a regular phone after you use this absolutely battery monster. Um, you'll never go back on this battery life. If you want this a second phone, work phone, if you're not that finicky on the camera experience, Yukito K10 provides an absolutely 100% excellent budget phone experience for that very good affordable price. You can buy the phone from the link in the description below course give the video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel for more honest hands-on reviews like this and please share the videos so that your friends can also enjoy them as well and stay active stay smart